Hey, Tommy Emmanuel here with a few tips for you um, about strings and stringing. Now, um, people ask me all the time, what's the best string uh, in the world? And I say, the, the one that your guitar likes. Not necessarily the one that you like or the one that I like. You know, you see advertising all the time and there are brands like Martin and um, Gibson and, uh, of course, uh, Diodario, Ernie Ball. They've been around a long time. Uh, John Pierce strings. They've, those strings, uh, uh, especially Diodarios, they've been around a long, long time. When I was a kid, there was only Black Diamond. And if you didn't like Black Diamond, that was too bad. <laughs> Uh, and they were only one gauge as well, you know. We, we have to thank James Burton for coming up with the idea of custom gauges and because uh, in the early days, in the 50s, when he was playing with Ricky Nelson, he was putting banjo strings on his Telecaster so he could do all those incredible bends. And so Ernie Ball came along and, um, and made him some custom sets and that's how strings became custom sets, you know, skinny top, heavy bottom, slinkies, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. Um, so my message to you today is try different strings until you find the string that A, sounds the best, but I think even more importantly, tunes up the best. Because if you're playing solo like I play, everything is exposed especially your tuning. I've found what really works on my, my, especially my Maiden guitars. They like Martin strings very much. They like Diodario strings. They like Ernie Ball, e Everlast strings. Uh, I've tried a few different brands. Um, I've tried some that just don't work uh, and other people will swear by them. So it's up to you. You have to experiment. If you can afford it, buy a set of Diodario, a set of Martin, a set of something else and try them if you can afford it. If you can't, write to them and say, Dear Mr. Gibson, could you send me some strings? I'm a poor guy from, from uh, you know, the wrong side of the tracks. Something like that, you know. Pull on a few hard strings. Pull a few favours. I mean, that's what I used to do. I used to say, uh, I can't afford to eat, but can I buy a set of strings? Well, what I discovered uh, when when you change strings as often as I do, um, that if you use exactly the same string all the time, the real uh, overtones and texture and the real brilliance of the string starts to drop away. And I think, this is just my theory, but I think our guitar gets used to the string. And then after a while, it just doesn't, your guitar doesn't sing out, you know? And I remember one time, um, I had a guitar tech at that time and he used to change strings uh, and then bring the guitar to my, my dressing room and I would warm up and then go do the show. And he brought my guitar to me and I, I went, hey, d did you change these strings? And he said, yeah, I just put them on. And we'd been using Diodario strings. And I said, do you have any Martins? And he said, yes. And I said, could you put them on? So he quickly put them on. Five minutes later, brought the guitar back to me and bang, my guitar was leaping to life. And that told me that my guitar got used to the Diodario strings. There was nothing wrong with the Diodario strings. My guitar just got used to it. So um, when I'm touring now, I kind of swap them around and that keeps my guitar alive. So you put the, put the string in the hole Put it through the hole here till you, you've got about that much string, right? And you bend that on an angle so it doesn't move. Then you come down and hold your finger down and you wind the string so the windings go down. When the string comes across here, it should go straight down. It shouldn't go straight out. That, the, the, the string is sitting in an unnatural way then. You're gonna get the best tuning and the best sound and the best feel from your string and it'll hold its tuning better if you pull the windings down. So you put it through the hole, bend it up, hold your finger on the string down there so it goes down. Wind it up and give it a few windings. So it should look like it's pulling down there, okay? Now, when you get the string, you bring it up to pitch, then you start stretching it. So you stretch it here, here, here. I've already done a fair bit of stretching, so it's not going to stretch too much. But I do that at least three or four times in a row. Stretch, stretch, stretch. 
tune, stretch, tune, stretch. And I do that with each string. Then I, I get the guitar as close to it perfectly as in tune as I can. Then I start stretching it up here like, like this. Get used to the sound of the guitar being in, in tune, really in tune. And, and um, there's lots of ways that, that you can do that. Once I've got the guitar as perfectly in tune as I can get it. I then test the tuning with positions that are really going to be important that the guitar's really. See those kind of positions where I'm playing an A. Now I'm playing the third in the bass. I'll start playing tunes that are going to test my tuning. You'll find as you go, the guitar settles in and play a few more songs, tune again, play a few more songs, tune again, until it really is sit, sitting perfectly in, in tune. And always carry different tuners. You know, I, I have this little TC electronics tuner here on my guitar as my reference. But this is the tuner that I mostly tune with before a show and I plug in I spike the mid-range and I, I play softly and, le and the, the, this thing gives me exactly uh, where I am pitch-wise and um, that's pretty damn a accurate. Sometimes you can get the guitar perfectly in tune according to the tuner but then you've got to use your ear and, and sometimes you find that maybe the, the B string might be a fraction sharp so instead of tuning it, uh, detuning it, just grab it and give it a little tug like that. See that? So there's all these little uh, things, uh, idiosyncrasies about your instrument that you have to get used to and, uh, and, and tune into, you know? So, so try those different strings and, uh, and spend time tuning and uh, also cleaning your guitar, you know, cleaning, clean the gunk off it. Every, everybody has these clammy hands and, you know, that's why I don't play too many people's, uh, other people's guitars because I don't want to run out and get a tetanus shot. But anyway, I hope this helps you and good luck with your stringing and your playing.